Hello everybody, Smith here, welcome back to some more BD Armoury and welcome to a new version of BD Armoury. About two or three weeks ago, uh, this version dropped 1.6.0 and then a couple of days later a patch dropped because the first version kind of balked a lot of stuff. But never mind, we have it here, there's been, um, well there's been a whole host of changes since my last out the update video which was for uh, 1.5.0. I want to go through a handful of the changes I think are the most important. And, Something I kind of missed the first time round. In the background you can see a fight I threw together uh, between my Scream, the latest product of my little stealth fighter program, and just my bog standard uh, Cyclone F2. And the, uh, the, the camera zooms a little bit weird because I installed basically everything fresh in this install and was mucking about with the camera zoom and yeah it does look a bit weird, although you do get some really really nice shots from it. This was basically just to see how uh, radar cross sections have changed with the latest version, because they have changed quite significantly since uh, 1.5.0, but we're just going to mention that and move on, because there's, there's plenty more to see here. Okay, so things I missed last time is uh, kind of becoming a bit of a tradition in these videos, although this next thing I shouldn't have covered it in the previous video, I should have covered it in the video before that. Um, it just somehow slipped under my radar. Um, so whenever I've been messing about with BD Armoury, looking through the weapons I have, I've got a lot of mods. I noticed I had two versions of the Air 2 Genie missile, so I thought, fair enough, there must be two mods each sort of having their own version of the thing. But no, what I missed, and something quite important, was that back in 1.4.11.1, the BDA devs actually added their own version of this little tactical nuclear weapon. So we now have nuclear weapons in vanilla BD Armoury, and, well, have done for about a year and a half, to be honest. This is a heat-seeking missile designed for both ground and air targets, although I haven't tested it on ground targets as, uh, as anything other than a dumbfire rocket, although it does pretty well with its 900m blast radius, to be fair. In real life, this sort of weapon was designed to, uh, to take out large bomber formations, things like that, not really as a dog-fighting weapon, and fittingly, it really does not do too well in your standard BD Armoury competition. I've done some tests, and... Fired as a volley, inevitably one of these things gets taken out halfway on its journey and that takes out the others and um, in closer quarters it's it's a heavy and slow to lock missile so my craft had a great deal of difficulty getting them away. I've had quite a few crafts sent to me using the Air 2 Genie as an air-to-air -air combat weapon and the only time I can ever remember it being successful is when it took out a fighter that was basically dead anyway. A weapon of limited uses but I think it'd be fair to say that some of those uses are quite fun. As with any time period between two major releases, there have also been a ton of behind-the-scenes stuff, mechanics, uh, bug fixes, that sort of thing. Um, one of the things I was really looking forward to after reading the change logs, though, was um, sort of the changes that have been made to the VTOL AI. Um, so... I was told that, you know, well, there's been changes to the way a lot of the AIs handle things like the uh, the control axes and sort of the throttle axis. So I was, I was looking forward to getting this um, going properly with the autopilot, and then I turned the autopilot on and, uh, yeah. Got in touch with the devs. Apparently, this is a bug I have discovered <laughs> whilst trying to make this video. It wasn't implemented on the VTOL AI, only the other AIs. I know this is like a weird way to start an update video. Like, here's something that was put in ages ago. Here's something that hasn't been implemented yet. But I thought I'd mention it because, like, the next update or the one after that, this should be, like, should be coming. But uh, for the time being, uh, unfortunately, well, not entirely unfortunately, but the only way to do a, a helicopter versus helicopter fight is just something like this. Oh, that, that, that was, that hurts. Anyway, moving on. Right, so let's actually try and do this properly. Uh, <laughs> he says halfway through the video. Okay, so things that have definitely, definitely either been added or improved since 1.5.0 came out. Let's um, let's start with this, the Vessel Mover. BD Armoury has its own version of the Vessel Mover. Uh, it looks like the uh, the Vessel Mover mod. You can see it's got this ex uh, extra option, a couple of extra options here. We've got Close on Competition Start, very handy. Also, Classic Craft File Chooser. If you uh, deselect that and you go to Spawn Vessel, you get this much, much quicker uh, quicker and easier to use uh, vessel selector. It remembers where you were whenever you um, 
Yeah, one remembers where you were uh, after you've spawned one and you go to spawn another. Very, very handy. Um, obviously, you can't do things like craft from your Steam subscriptions or craft from a, uh, another save like that. For that, you'd have to go back into the classic craft file chooser. Um, in a kind of similar vein, I suppose, uh, yeah, the Vessel Spawner. This has had uh, some interesting stuff added. If you see the Teams thing here, if you drag that all the way to the right, there may be, there may be a setting you have to tweak in your uh, BDA config. I'll, I'll, I'll have to check that. If, if that is the case, I'll, I'll put a pinned comment or something. But if you drag that all the way over to the right, you get this, um, this, um, a custom spawn template thing. I've already set one up. So basically you, you set your craft out as you want them using the vessel mover and then you can write a, uh, a name for it here. It has to be short. It has to be characters only, which I've found out the hard way, but I've got one which I've simply called three. So that's the sort of name you have to go for. And you can see I've got these six spaces here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with, um, some of my very special red hawks, some, um, Specialized Red Hawks I've created here for this. And we've got here Ben Kerman. You've had a bit of an outing, so we will go for Bryce and Ghosty and GT. And for this one, I have created uh, also a very special version of my Cyclone F2. So we grab that. And where do we get to? Ion and Josh and Legged Lack. Also, spawning ease in. I had that set down to instant. Not a good idea. <laughs> there was a bit of a bug, but also it tends to just drop your craft from a height, which uh, if you haven't bothered to fiddle about with um, with this little variable here. But I'm going to go for spawn only, and hopefully this should work. There we go. Okay, all the craft spawned in. Some of them just drop down. The rest of them drop down gently. Okay. A darn sight quicker than actually just individually spawning them in with the uh, with the vessel mover. So what is so special? I can I can get rid of you. Thank you, uh, thank you, vessel spawner. What is so special about these particular red hawks and cyclones? Well, another improvement that has happened um, during. Ah, um, oh, God, sorry, suddenly lost the ability to speak. Another thing that has been improved in recent versions of BD Armory, or fixed, has been the Repulsor Cannon, the Zero Point Energy Field Mil Manipulator or Gravity Gun. This, this for anybody who liked to use it, you'd know that this, yeah, basically it would just crash the game. <laughs> Maybe just freeze it or do a, a map bug out, but yeah, occasionally would actually crash the game, uh, as I found out during a live stream once. That was, um, that was not fun. But now! apparently fixed and we are going to go and test that so we have uh three um repulsor cannon armed red hawks versus three repulsor cannon armed cyclones let's um let's get this one going just check the competition settings yeah i have set that up right right and the competition starts now all these craft have a a uh, repulsor cannon and Vulcan cannon set up, which is uh, just the repulsor cannon and normal gun set up. It's something I've been trying to get to work for ages. The, the theory behind it is basically, you know, it gets a hit from the repulsor cannon that sort of destabilizes it while the guns finish it off. Um, haven't got it to work so far, but <laughs> fingers crossed. Oh my god. Uh, the Red Hawks not doing too well with the missile evasion at the moment. Um, yeah, this, there will have been lots and lots of little tweaks between these versions, so I'm not sure if the, uh, the Red Hawk's inability to evade missiles, apparent inability to evade missiles, has anything to do with, oh my god, yeah, that's, that's not looking good. Um, oh, this one's missing its vertical stabilizers. We have the one, the one healthy Red Hawk. Hmm, we, we may have to do something. Oh, oh, not into the ground, please. Yes. That's, that's not good for your dog biting abilities. Oh, for God's sake. Now, everybody's up close and personal. Hopefully we should see... I may have to adjust my default altitudes here. <laughs> because, oh, here comes the gunfire and the repulsor cannon and... Oh, oh, please, get a decent hit so I can see what happens. I've been trying to get this work to work for so long. Oh... Just general damage coming in. Oh, I think that's a little bit of instability from the Repulsor Cannon. No solid hits from it yet. 
is that? Um, oh my god, well, yeah, you're doing a bang up job, Bryce Kerman. GT Kerman still evading, still getting some uh, getting some nasty hits. Oh my god, stripped of its vertical stabilizers. Here comes the repulsor cannon. Yes, I know there's been changes to uh, the terrain avoidance algorithms. Um, yeah. Which might explain why nice on my craft are getting a little close for comfort as my uh, my GPU spins up for some reason. Okay, we're gonna have to do things the hard way. How is this gonna survive with a dual repulsor cannon, Vulcan cannon combo? Yeah. Oh, it is having an effect. It does. It does spin them off slightly. Not the same power as they used to when this first came out, because that was kind of ridiculous. But it does seem to be. Yeah. I think if you watch closely, you can see it's having a bit of an effect there. I will have to do some more experimenting on this. Ion Kerman. Yeah. Still got the autopilot, but apparently is missing its. Um, Currently is missing the, uh, the weapon manager. And why not? One, uh, one final fling. Um, straight into the ground. Yeah, really, really, really need to tweak the, um, to tweak the altitudes and the terrain avoidance. That was marginally positive for the, uh, for the repulsor cannon, Vulcan cannon setup. Have to do some more tests, and yeah, if you are upgrading to this version of BD Armory, just just maybe up the up the altitude floor and maybe strengthen the terrain avoidance settings. And that will be all for today. Uh, I'll put downloads to the this version of BD Armory, in fact, the latest version of BD Armory, um, BD Armory Plus, in the description. If you have enjoyed today's video and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, commenting, letting me know your thoughts. Um, Maybe following me on Twitter, maybe getting involved with the Discord, great BD Armory and KSP community on there and more besides. Um, all those links in the description as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. If you want to help support the channel, you too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal like Legolak Kerman here, as well as your name at the end of videos, access to the Patreon only Discord. Uh, some other stuff I'm doing occasionally, that kind of thing. I will be back soon with some more BD Armory, but uh, until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.